OK. So what I'd like to do is show you guys um, how to find the surface area of this pyramid. Now, in the homework quiz, I went over how to find the surface area of a cone. Now we need to go ahead and go over the surface area of a pyramid. It's going to be the exact same type of general formula, but it's going to be a little, little bit different. So again, the surface area equals B, which is the area of the base, which in this case you guys can see is a square. Now, please be careful when we're talking about surface area that the formula I'm about to give you only works when the figure is a regular polygon. I'll say that one more time. Please make sure on the formula that I'm about to give you, it only works when it's a regular polygon as your base, meaning all the sides and the angles are exactly the same dimensions. So you can see they tell us this is a regular polygon. So if one side is 14, that means all the sides are 14. Therefore, I can use this formula, which is the surface area is equals the area base plus the lateral area. All right. Now, just to do a quick recap, let's say the area, let's say the base is not regular. Let's say it's like a rectangle. If I said to find the surface area, do you guys remember when we first did surface areas? We broke it down into every single side and we added them all up, right? It took a lot of time. But you can do that. I want you to be aware of, if you do not have a regular base, you cannot use this formula. If you have a regular base, or the formula that I'm about to give for the lateral area, if you have an irregular base, you have to find the area of each side length and then add them all up together. But fortunately for us, we have a regular um, polygon as a base. So therefore, since we have a regular polygon, I just need to find the area of all those sides. So the area of the base, that's regular, that's base times height, right? Because it's a square. Plus the lateral area is 1 half perimeter times h. Now remember, h represents the slant height. What we have is the height from the bottom to the top. That's not the height we need when we're dealing with surface area. And I'm going to give you guys another little nugget to think about. When you're talking about surface area, when we're talking about surface area and we have slants, we want to use the slant heights. When we're talking about volume, we always want to use the distance from the base to the top. Okay? But since we're talking about that, the issue we have here is we have, what we have right now is we have the distance from the base to the top. We need to find the slant height. So therefore, we need to figure out what that distance is. This distance from the base to the top on the edge. So therefore, I need to go ahead and look at that. And I'm going to redraw the triangle. That distance is 12. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if this comes directly down in the middle, that means that cuts this in half. So if this whole distance is 14, that means that side of the triangle is 7. So is it possible for me to find my h, which is the slant height? I have to use, thank you. So I have 12 squared plus 7 squared equals h squared. 12 squared is 144 plus 7 squared is 49 equals h squared. Um, 80, so that's 193. So I have 193 equals h squared. So now I need to take the square root of 193, and I get 13.89. So h equals 13.89. Let's round it to the tenth, which is 13.4. So now let's go and figure out the rest of my fig information. Base times height, that is for the base. So again, that's a square, so that's going to be 14 times 14. Notice it's smaller b and h. That's to find the area of the base, which is a square. So it's 14 times 14 plus 1 half perimeter. p represents perimeter. What is the perimeter of this rectangle, of the square on the base? 14 plus 14 is 28, plus 14 plus 14 is 56. And then times the height, which we determined was 13.4. So now I plug in all that information. So I do 14 times 14, which is 196, plus 0.5, which is 1 half, times 56, times 13.4.
And when I do that, I get 571.2. Now, again, we're dealing with feet. So I need to make sure I put my unit. And since my, I'm dealing with area, my unit is going to be squared. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that problem. So now, on your homework,